Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fact or Fiction, Fiction Friday. Friday. I'm Brennan. Hi, I'm Shanae. And we have another good one for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, so Fact or Fiction Friday is basically we tell a short story um, and throughout you'd be thinking and listening to uh, the clues and at the end you determine if it's fact or fiction. Yep. And then afterwards we always tell you... Um, Rather, it's fact or fiction. Yeah, we'll tell you what's going on at the end. Yeah. All right. All right, so get started. This is a story of a very smart young lady. Oh, you talk about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> she was a gymnast, but she came from a dysfunctional family. She received scholarships to attend college, and to understand her family, she decided to become a psychiatrist. So she went to school and eventually started an internship at an asylum. Mm -hmm. Didn't you want to be a psychologist, psychiatrist? I want to be a, a plethora of things. Yeah. But we don't have that many years on this earth for me to do everything <laughs> I want to do. Yeah. I thought about like being like a, what was it? A so, like a social worker or something mm -hmm. like that. But that's that's not what I do. Yeah, I want to be a psychiatrist at one point. I want to be an attorney. I want to be a judge. Mm. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop it there. I'll, <laughs> I'll stop with that. Yeah, so this young lady was like, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to figure out what's wrong with my crazy family members. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so she started the internship. So at the asylum, she started to see a range of patients who were diagnosed with different mental disorders one in particular uh was a complete psychopath and she was drawn to him from her initial meeting so what is a complete psychopath don't worry i looked it up so according to exploringyourmind.com one to two percent of the world's population are psychopaths with men leading women five to one. So for every, what does that mean? For every five men that are psychopaths, there's mm -hmm. one woman that are, is a psychopath? Yeah. Okay. So most are very successful cr as criminals, uh, but they also can thrive in careers where they can pretend to be someone else. Uh, for example, like a charismatic politician, you know, when you can just like put on this front and say like, this is who I am and not really ever have to get to the core of who you are at your job. So like a politician, a cult leader, <laughs> psychopaths <laughs> are charming, manipulative, intelligent, they're arrogant. Some not so good characteristics are they're manipulative, arrogant, shallow, they have an inability to experience any remorse, inability to love others. They can love themselves, though. They are in a, inattentive in relationships, uh, but they can pretend to be really sensitive in relationships. They get bored easily. They give off untrustworthy vibes, and they are notorious liars. Hmm. All right. Now, as a doctor, she is very aware of the issues and aware that she can be manipulated. But this does not stop our girl from falling in love with this guy. Mm. Love is blind. Yeah. It can take over your mind. <laughs> uh, she falls for all of his charm and manipulations. She thinks that he loves her, but in reality, he only sees her as a way uh, to escape the facility at which he does. Uh, she gets him out of there and then she joins him on his crime sprees. Yeah. So during this toxic relationship, she is completely devoted to him. And he keeps her around but also does things to get rid of her at the same time. Like, he only wanted her to help him escape from this facility. And now she won't leave. Him. Now she won't <laughs> leave. <laughs> and so sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, you're still here. You know, he's nice to her. But other times he's just like, why are you still here? And they'll do something to get rid of her. Uh, so with that being said, he becomes abusive. And she is still super forgiving. So, you know, like you said, she's just blind. She can't see all these red flags. She can't see all of 
the fact that he does not care about her. Um, and during this relationship, she and this, she loses her own sanity and eventually ends up in prison because of the crime she committed with him. Yep, so that's it for this story. It's a short one. Yeah, we told you about this toxic relationship from this psychiatrist who turned to criminal after falling in love with one of her patients. Yep. So what do you guys think? You think this story is fact or fiction? Yep. Comment below what you think. Mm -hmm. Give me some clues. Yep. All right, guys. All right, we're back with you guys. Think fact or fiction? We'll go ahead and reveal it. This story is fiction. Fiction. This is the story of Dr. Harleen Francis Quinzel, better known as Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is a fictional character in the DC universe. She was first created as a love interest for the psychopath we talked about better known as supervillain Joker, also of the DC Universe. Mm -hmm. They embark on a toxic relationship, just as toxic as the chemicals that bleached his skin and turned his hair green. Just like Joker, she became a super popular character. Always a popular Halloween costume every year. Uh, her look evolved over the years from just being a regular clown to wearing like a silk jacket and shorts um she would have blonde hair with the tips dyed one side blue one side red um and that's kind of like a signature harley quinn look uh, she's the most profitable character a uh, female character with dc so did you guys guess this correctly yeah did you read any comic books or anything growing up did you i read didn't them? no mm -mm. Hmm. I never was into comic books, but I, I do love superheroes, like movies and stuff, but I never was big into comic books. Yeah, I actually liked her character, so I, I don't know, that's weird, but when I when I read or watch movies and stuff, mm -hmm. I always get drawn to, like, the bad people, like, <laughs> the bad guys. For some, sometimes the good guys, they, they care to just annoy me, but <laughs> the bad, sometimes the bad guys, sometimes they just have really yeah. good characters. Sometimes they have more of a history. Like, the good person just usually eh, you know, just a good person but the bad person will have a more in-depth history behind why they are the way that they are. Yeah. And, uh, so this was Harley Quinn's backstory, um, from what I could find. And so, we do want to put a disclaimer on this video, uh, with domestic violence it doesn't always start off that way but you know like I mentioned red flags there are different red flags that you see so if you or anyone you know has experienced domestic violence please get help please reach out to someone and get help and get out of that situation um, yeah, yeah. Um, remember domestic violence doesn't necessarily mean physical abuse it can be emotional, mental, it can be financial, you know. Yeah, that's true. So it can come in all different forms. Yeah. Guys, there's so many people out there like that you get in a situation like this and you just feel like that's the only person in the world. There are people out there that will love you, that will respect you. So if anyone that's watching this, get help if you need it. Yep. So, all right, guys, that is another episode of Fact yep. or Fiction Friday. We thank you so much for watching, especially staying to the end. Yep. And we do want you guys to check out other videos on our channel. And also, we have a playlist for Fact or Fiction Friday if you've missed any episodes. Yep. So, until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Yep. And we'll see you. Bye. Bye.